Hello there folks, Bunky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, starting our Lawn Mowing Simulator DLC challenge coverage with the first of the Ancient Britain challenges. Um, there are no challenges for the Dino uh, DLC, which I thought was weird, but there are four for the Ancient Britain DLC, so I'll be running you through all four of them in separate videos, just like I did for the base game DLC, If you or the base game, excuse me. If you are here... Uh, and have just played the game through Game Pass, keep in mind that these are DLC challenges. Uh, unless you purchase the DLC, these are not uh, available to you, nor are they required for any of the base game DLC, or base game achievements, excuse me. Keep seeing, saying DLC. Sound like a corporation. Um, anyways, Pub Garden. We have to mow it. Uh, the first attempt at this, I actually, you do need a 99.9% .9 cut rating, and I got to the end with 99.8%. Uh, and I had to run around and clean up after myself in a few spots, which um, sounds sketchy, but I finished with five minutes left, so I had plenty of time to run around and clean up some of the spots that I had missed. So um, not too much of a difficult challenge. There are some flower beds and stuff like that that you're going to run into, but you have a lot of uh, fine and penalty uh, forgiveness here so I mean you could kill 50 to 60 flowers and be fine so um, as long as you're not ramming into the playground area or the picnic benches or just running over entire beds of flowers the penalty shouldn't be an issue and the time limit uh, though it's only 22 minutes you should have plenty of time to do anything so or do everything. So we're going to hop in. I'm going to run uh, through this challenge with you. And we will uh, get it completed. First off, like always, grab your uh, string trimmer. Uh, don't be afraid to go slow. You, Like I said, you do have a decent amount of time. And we're just going to follow this all the way around the entire lawn. Uh, this outer edge is one continuous edge along the entirety of the pub garden here. Don't be afraid to go a, bit, a little bit slower and make sure that you're getting all the grass. Um, sometimes that dirt grass edge is a little uh, hard to see. And oftentimes there's little pieces of grass that still grow off into the dirt that you need to cut as well. Uh, as I said, you do need a 99% 99.9% cut uh, percentage to complete the challenge. So leaving a little tiny bits of grass uh, that were in the dirt could uh, add up. Make sure you get away from the wall. If you do run into the wall, that can uh, not only damage your vehicle, but can also um, give you some penalties and fines if you hit this too hard. So we're going to do two passes up against. Just be careful. You can actually see that um, we're, we're missing some of the grass there. Uh, this is, I believe, the weakest of the three weed uh, string trimmers. Sorry, I, I called them weed eaters growing up, and that just slips out. But it definitely is the worst of the three string trimmers, so uh, that's a, a good reason to take it slow and make sure you're getting everything, uh, just so... You hopefully don't have to come back and clean up after you mow. And don't be afraid to run around and, you know, accidentally clip a few flowers. Um, 
In real life, you would probably think damaging any flower is too much, but luckily this is virtual reality and you could kill about 50 flowers and uh, still make all your money. If you were in career mode anyways, in challenge mode we don't make any money off of this, but still. You would think the people who contracted you would be a little upset if, you know, 50 of their 100 flowers were destroyed and you were like, I did a good job. But that's not how it works in in the video game world. When it gets over here, just be a little cautious because it's rather dark in that corner. And we're almost done with our lap around the outside. And we've made it. So we're going to start working on uh, the things inside. I am going to switch to sprint mode here and do my patented uh, circles. If you've followed my other challenge videos, you've seen me do this quite regularly. Just mostly want to focus on getting the grass right up against the uh, table. Uh, you do have a decent mower for this challenge. You're using one of the skag mowers that you typically use for uh, striping, at least I did. Uh, I never used it much for non-striping contracts. But uh, it's a decent mower, so you, you have decent control over uh, where you're cutting and all that. So you don't have to be too fine, but I like to be cautious uh, when it comes to collisions so that I don't have to uh, worry about running into the benches. Especially if you're coming off of expert uh, mode challenges and every collision could cause you to fail. Causes you to be uh, a bit more cautious with collisions from that point on. Okay, just do a quick uh, pro view scan. You can kind of see that we're missing little bits around the the picnic table because of how uh, bad this string trimmer is. Unfortunately we're using the worst one and it shows. So just do a little bit of cleanup if you're noticing a lot. I mean you can see we ran over everything and it... there we go. Got all of that clean. There are three things to edge over on this lawn. We have the two little flower beds here, so we're gonna uh, do our best to to cut them. And at this point, you're pretty much safe to go wild. Um, you don't have to worry too much about getting any of the uh, the flowers because there aren't that many left that you have to worry about. We've edged along the outside and uh, while there are some flowers uh, here the next section is the playground and there are barely any over there. So if you want to go a little bit faster here than I am and risk uh, clipping a few flowers while you do that uh, there should be no problem. But I'm going to show you the way I like to do it which is uh, slow and cautious. And just like before, we're going to uh, do a quick check to kind of make sure we're not leaving any massive uh, pieces of grass behind. As I said, you, I, I finished this on my first one with five minutes left. I had five minutes remaining to uh, clean up anything I had missed and I as I said I was at 99.8 percent so I did miss some. Uh, keep in mind that you do have to stop moving to use the pro view so you can't be moving and use it. But I think we're good over here so we're gonna head to the other end of the lawn and uh, the playground area. You just have a couple of you know uh, 
I don't know if these are made of stone edges with, you know, sandboxes in the middle of them, but we're just going to, we're going to do our circles again. That way we can uh, mow near the, the playground equipment without having to worry too much about running into the metal and penalizing ourselves or damaging our mower. Again, uh, do a quick pro view scan just to make sure that you got a decent amount of the grass and we can move on to the next one. And as long as you're doing the circles properly, um, you shouldn't have to do too much cleanup, especially for the other challenges when you get the better weed eater. String trimmer, sorry. As I said, that's going to happen. You shouldn't have too much grass that you're missing with the circles. As I said, this technique is pretty uh, reliable to get most of the grass. And again just do a quick check we missed quite a bit on this one so just kind of run around and do a quick uh, cut we still missed a little bit but we should be good and then you just make sure you get this pole over here so you don't have to uh, worry about running into that and with that done we're gonna head back and get our mower and start our cut. We only have 11 and a half minutes left, but that should be plenty of time. We're not going to finish with five minutes left. I think we went a little bit too slow for that, but... Don't worry about the grass clippings warning, it doesn't matter. Although, feel free to uh, cut with the other edge of your mower if you prefer to cut with the right side, or left side. Uh, I actually prefer the left side, but I took a, a right turn, so we're going with it. We're going to get... Uh, all the way around here and we're actually gonna kind of cut this off and now we're gonna I'm gonna reorient myself because I prefer to drive and cut with the left side uh, you don't have to worry about overloads too much on this I found uh, you can drive at a constant speed and uh, because it's an amateur level challenge you have plenty of forgiveness for your overload uh, and engine damage so unlike the expert challenges if again if you're coming from those uh, you don't have to worry about damaging your engine we did overload there but you for the most part you can keep your speed up and uh, still be able to cut We're going to pop out here and edge around this flower bed.
And again, the grass clippings warning doesn't matter. And we've gone from about 10% to almost 50% in three minutes. So we're, we're making excellent time. You might, you know, it's easy to look at that and say we spent, you know, 50% of our time just using the string trimmer. But this is a very uh, quick lawn to mow, so... And we're going to get around the center gazebo here. And you can afford to go faster like I did there because you have such a, a, a wide margin for cutting flowers and penal getting penalized. So um, you don't really have to worry too much about going... Uh, going slow and avoiding the flowers like you do uh, on the expert challenges. And again, we don't really have to worry about running into flowers because we have such a wide ability or wide um, forgiveness for, for fines. So have at it. Keep your speed up. Just, of course, try to make sure you're keeping on line with the uh, edge so that you're cutting everything you need to. We're going to cut across the lawn again here. And we're going to work our way around this. And get the playground done with.
And there we are, folks. You got a minute and 53 seconds left. If you do need to, you can run back and, uh, or run around with the Pro View and find spots you may have missed with the mower, or, uh, come back and grab the string trimmer and run around and find some spots you may have missed with that. But, uh, we didn't need to, so I'm gonna run over to the truck and turn this in. And that's the end of our first Ancient Britain. Uh, DLC challenge. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach out to me and I'll do my best to answer them. But if not, I'll see you guys next time.